RPN, or Radio Philippines Network, was founded as Kanlaon Broadcasting System or KBS on February 25, 1960. The Kanlaon was named after an active stratovolcano called Mount Kanlaon, which was located in the island of Negros, Philippines, where the founder Roberto S. Benedicto was born. About nine years later, KBS started to operate for television broadcasting with the launch of KBS 9 in Manila in conjunction with KBS Channel 12 in Baguio on October 15, 1969. Around the same year, the name AccuColor 9 was launched as KBS became the first Philippine TV network to broadcast in full color. In 1975, KBS formally relaunched as RPN along with their new logo which is somewhat similar and resembles to the ever so familiar CBS logo. RPN later unveiled their new logo in 1980 as they began to broadcast via their domestic satellite technology or DOMSAT which resembles a satellite antenna on their newly designed logo. RPN redesigned their logo again in 1982 with the modern and very familiar RPN logo with the shell-like design number 9 and their official slogan the leader. Seven years later in 1989, RPN was renamed as New Vision 9 as their transmitter's effective radiated power was increased to 1 million watts, like seriously who cares, and also, disregard their ratings downfall, pioneered the 24-hour broadcasting in the Philippines. RPN however maintained its name as the corporate name of the network. New Vision 9 was reverted back to RPN and branded as RPN The Network on 1994. In surround stereo. Shortly after a year, the 1982 design of RPN finally returned along with their new slogan, Your Friendly Network, also first introduced. This is RPN, your friendly network! 2007, when a partnership between RPN and Solar Entertainment Corporation was established, followed by the launch of CS, abbreviated from its former name, Crime Suspense, on RPN 9 on January 1, 2008, the one launched by RPN was separate from SEC's cable channel which will be covered in a separate video. CS was later rebranded into CS9 on October 4, 2008 as part of RPN's permanent branding, followed by another rebrand into Solar TV on November 29, 2009, somewhat a revival from SEC's cable channel called Solar USA back in 2002. You're watching Solar TV. In 2010, due to a discussion from SEC and Presidential Communications Operations Office or PCOO regarding RPN's financial state, a plan which was considered by the government was to privatize RPN and IBC or as RPN employees would call it a rumored shutdown, led RPN to temporarily sign off in February 25, 2011 in preparation for RPN's relaunch as they shifted to a more feminine programming to ETC on March 2, 2011. This is ETC, truly bigger, truly free. December 1, 2013, when Solar News Channel moved from SBN or Southern Broadcasting Network to RPN, basically to expand its nationwide telecast, while ETC returned to its original network, SBN, the day before. SEC later rebranded Solar News Channel into 9TV on August 23, 2014. This is 9TV. Further explanation will be covered in a separate video but where RPN is involved, SEC sold Solar Television Network including 34% of RPN's majority share to ALC group of companies. Nine Media Corporation, which was renamed from Solar Television Network, announced their partnership with Turner Broadcasting System, and 9TV was rebranded once again into CNN Philippines on March 16, 2015.
Philippines. Entertains. Informs. Serves. In surround stereo. On Visayas and Mindanao via satellite. This is RPN, your friendly network. You're watching Solar TV. Kung saan lahat panalo. This is ETC. Truly bigger. Truly free. Watching CNN Philippines. I'll say this once and I'll say it again. Apologies if I sounded dull, lame, and cold in every video. I've been holding onto this project for quite some time already, ever since I encountered our local RPN from CS9 up until Jack City. I started to be curious as to how the transition was happened. Later, I realized that instead of ETC was to be shown by RPN and it was the game channel. My curiosity once again started to itch, but this time I made a flowchart. But this one by the way was my second rendition, I don't know what happened to the first one though. 
The flowchart that I made was later abandoned since I was currently making island videos at the time. After Boomerang was posted and still no work yet, I started to revisit and remake the flowchart digitally. By the way, just a rant about people copying my island format because some of you are already saying that I didn't acknowledge the fact that a lot of YouTube channels are already making island videos with the same island timeline format that I'm still doing. I gotta be honest, I don't really mind. Like I said in my fellow Filipino bros who are also admin on our Discord server, anybody can copy my format or whatever style they wanted for their ident video. In fact, I'm not the one who originated this type of format anyway. Right before I started making ident videos with videos in it, the original idea was just a timeline of logos, preferably in the past where I saw one video with a timeline or evolution of Facebook logos and timeline. So again, you do you, I don't really mind and I don't care. Just don't use any of my videos that I already made and uploaded and trim a little bit out of it then rearrange and add some bits to it. Just don't. Also I'm already aware about this before but didn't acknowledge it to my previous videos. I apologize if some of you annoy or didn't like seeing any of my past videos whether ticker or CG as it to promote my Facebook page then. Every 15 or so seconds later after the Eden channel CG, a like us on Facebook would appear. I can't really say for certain but maybe for my subscribers to see Eden channel's updates back then when I can't use the community tab to post updates. But this I'm pretty sure though, what if my channel got terminated again much like what happened to my first account, then I'll post it immediately to the page. But regardless and again, I apologize. Some updates from this channel, the Aiden channel live premiere video was blocked on YouTube and already been transferred to our Facebook page. Also posted on our Facebook page is our new boomerang video. But if the premiere video will be down again on Facebook, then I'll post it on Dailymotion. Some minor changes on YouTube and other accounts. Finally utilizing the stories feature on YouTube. Already had 14,000 subs already, thank you very much. I couldn't thank you guys enough, but regardless, like, comment, subscribe. I've decided by the way that instead of uploading our no commentary item timeline video on our main channel but unlisted, instead to move the set format to our second channel as public videos not unlisted. And speaking of our second channel though, item channel 2 already launched since I have enough content already, so like, comment, subscribe as well. Also at our second channel along with normal item timeline videos, I'll also upload some video archives, unreleased video recordings, as well as videos previously from YouTube now deleted or somehow lost. And hopefully the second channel will also be monetized, while our main channel will be focused solely for posting ident commentary videos. By the way, all existing ident timeline videos, promo, station IDs from the main channel won't be affected, except JMA News TV and Boomerang's ident timeline videos which was previously unlisted. For some reason I decided to create a Twitter account, I don't know, my intention was just to preserve it and not having other people to mess with the ident channel URL so maybe follow? To my Carl Haro channel, I already uploaded some of the videos that was previously posted on Vimeo, I couldn't be bothered to retrieve both my Carl Haro and ident channel accounts so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, more content by the way coming up soon as well as our second channel. As always, thank you very much, subscribe and support the channel for us to continue. This has been Carl Haro for Eden Channel, thank you for watching and see you soon.